do you like giving sweet treats for Valentine's to your friends and family? Well, this is an idea that I think you're going to really enjoy. It's quick, simple, but it's adorable and a fun way to gift someone some delicious treats, not just for Valentine's Day, but you could also make these for any time of year too, which I think is fun. I'm going to be using Lawn Fawn's heart pouch die and also the dotted heart add-on to create these cute bags. I'm also going to be using some pattern paper from American Crafts. The heart pouch die comes like this and it comes with some accessory pieces which we'll use throughout the video. And then this is the cutie pie paper pad that I'm using for all of my die cutting. So when you make your heart pouch, you're gonna to wanna to die cut this twice. So one sheet of six by eight pattern paper works perfectly for cutting out two panels of these heart pouches. So we're gonna go ahead and use these pieces to cut out a heart pouch. And now we have two sections that we're gonna fold and adhere together to create our dimensional bag. You do wanna cut off one of the little short tabs on one of the heart pouches only, just because it's not needed and it will help you put this together a lot easier. And when you die cut this bag, you have all the score lines that you're going to need already created for you. So now you just need to come along and fold on all of those score lines. And I do recommend taking a bone folder after you're done and going over all those creases just to make sure that you get really nice crisp edges. This is going to give your box a much cleaner look when it's all assembled. I'm using our Simons to Stamp Teflon bone folder to do all of my creasing. All right, so once I have all my pieces folded on all of the score lines, we're ready to start assembling. So for this, I'm going to go ahead and take some terrific tape from Simons to Stamp, and this is going to get put onto the two longer tabs and also the one short tab. This is the only adhesive you need to put this bag together. Then I'm going to remove the release paper from one of the long sides, and I'm going to line this up opposite of the other heart, so that way this is going to form one side of the bag. You're gonna to wanna to make sure it's lined up along that score line, so that way it will fold cleanly. And then the final two edges, you can see how they fold together to form the other side, so you'll remove the release paper from that short tab and also the other long tab, and go ahead and line these up place them together and our box is formed just like that. It is so simple to assemble. Now you'll notice there are some holes that are created when you die cut this and that's for you to be able to thread some twine or thin ribbon through so that way you can close the box. Before I get to that though, I'm going to start decorating one of these boxes here. I have some of this cute woven Valentine ribbon that we carry at Simon's Stamp and I've tied this into a nice large bow and I'm going to trim it down so I have this cute bow that I can adhere onto the center of my box. I'm going to adhere it with some Simon's Stamp Redline tape. I love this tape for adhering trickier to adhere kind of embellishments such as wood, metal, uh, ribbon, it's a great adhesive for all that kind of stuff. And so because it's a tape, you don't have to wait for it to dry, which I find super convenient. So I'll just use that tape to adhere my ribbon to the middle of my bag. And then here's where I brought in some twine and I'm going to thread that through each of the holes. It's very simple to do, you just feed it through the front, then through the two tabs on one side of the box, then into the back. So you now have twine across one side. And then you're going to go through the back side again to the opposite side of the box. And you'll just go ahead and feed this through the other direction through those same holes. So that way the twine is looped all the way to the front. And you could of course tie this into a bow if you'd like, but I also find it fun to just flip the ends through the back side of that twine. And that just gives me a simple closure. You could then also tie this onto something if you'd like. All right, so let's decorate our bag a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and take these accessory pieces from the heart pouch die set, and I'm going to die cut them from some white card stock. You could die cut them from any color you want. I'm going to use these trim pieces to add to the sides, and then this little heart I'm going to glue into the center of my bow that sits on front. What I love about this heart pouch is that it's kind of like a bag and a box all in one. I keep calling it both because it's really cute. It could be a box, it could be a bag. It depends on how you wanna look at it. But I think these are adorable and they fit quite a bit of candy inside, which I think is fun. Now there's some other ways you could decorate your little heart pouches. I have these tag pieces that come with the heart pouch die and I'm die cutting them from some colored card stocks and some glitter paper so that way I can create this cute little XOXO tag that will hang from my box. 
and I picked out papers that would coordinate nicely with the pattern paper that I'm using for this box. So I thought the pink glitter cardstock would look nice on top of the red, kind of inspired by that little heart candy that's on the front. And I did bring in a little bit of that blue too to help tie all those colors together. Our Simon Says Stamp glitter cardstock works great for die cutting. And this looks really adorable on top of this heart pouch. And if you wanted to, you could go ahead and loop this onto some of the twine that you feed through the heart pouch, just so that way you can have a cute little tag to go with it. If you were giving a whole bunch of these, this would be fun to have each of the tags labeled with the recipient's name. So I made a total of four boxes. This one here with the music notes, I thought it'd be fun to put uh, another one of those bows on this box, but this time I adhered it to the side of the box. I thought that'd be fun. And I used a pink glitter heart in the center just for something a little bit different. I did use that same little heart trim along the sides, but then on this box, I actually also die cut that heart trim from some pink glitter cardstock, and I'm gluing those little hearts into the negative spaces, so that way I can get this cute little trim that looks completely different from the first box that we created. There's a lot of ways you can customize these, and I am using our Simon Says Stamp Place and Score tool to get those hearts in their little nested area. They're teeny tiny, so having a tool like this is perfect. So here's that dotted heart add-on that you can get with the heart pouch die. I'm going to die cut it into some of the pattern paper that I've picked here. This is fun because it's going to just kind of basically pierce this box with these little hearts. So they don't really cut anything out. They just add this fun little piercing detail, which looks so pretty on top of these tumbling hearts. I thought that was a great way to finish off this box. I added another bit of that ribbon here along the side, added a fun little heart on top of that with the pink glitter card stock. And then I could put some silver and white Simon Says Stamp twine through that to close everything up. You can fill these with all sorts of fun candies for a Valentine's Day. But like I said, these could be made for more than just the Valentine holiday. If you wanted to make these for birthdays and fun favors, maybe for a baby shower, just pick out some different pattern papers and colors and you can customize them to match whatever holiday, party, theme, etc. that you're going for. These are a very versatile die. Well, I hope you were inspired by the ideas that I've shared today using this heart pouch die from Lawn Fawn. It's a fun way to be able to gift somebody something sweet and I hope you will try out the ideas that I've shared today. And if you're curious about any of the products that I mentioned, you can find them all linked below in the video description or over on our blog. Thanks so much for tuning in. I will be back soon to share more with you all. But until next time, have a wonderful day and thanks for watching. Hi there, I'm Heidi, Simon's mama and founder at simonsaysstamp.com. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you like what you just saw, be sure to press the thumbs up and subscribe to see more great content.